Hi, I'm Jen and I'm a pharmacist. Today we're going to talk about your Vitoza pen. Your Vitoza pen has several parts. It has the pen cap, the rubber stopper, the cartridge, the dose window, the dose pointer, the dose selector, and the dose knob. In addition to your Victoza pen, you will also need pen needles and alcohol swabs. To use your pen for the first time, you're going to remove it from the refrigerator. And you want to check to make sure that it is your Victoza pen and that it has not expired. Next, remove the pen cap and look at the cartridge to make sure that the liquid is clear, colorless, and free of particles. If it is not, set aside and grab a new pen. For the first time use of each pen, you want to prime it. This is just for each new pen and not additional doses that you give yourself. To do this, you want to take your alcohol swab, wipe off the rubber stopper, take your pen needle, remove the cap, place it straight on, and twist until it's secure. Remove the outer cover and set aside. You will need this later. Next, remove the smaller cap, and this can go in the garbage. In order to prime your pen, you're going to turn it to the flow marker so the two lines match up. Hold your pen straight in the air and push in the dose knob until it gets to zero. You want to see liquid come out of your pen needle. If you do not see it, you may repeat these steps up to six times. Once you see liquid come out of the pen needle, you know that your pen is ready to be used. Next, you can dial up your dose. And you want this dose, this pen has three doses. You want to make sure that you select the dose that was prescribed by your provider. If you go past your dose, it's okay for you to dial back down to the correct dose. Once you have you selected your dose, you want to make sure it lines up with the dose marker there. And you can inject in three places. You can use your stomach, your tops of your thighs, or the backs of your arms. Today we're going to use our stomach. You want to take your alcohol swab and wipe your stomach at least two inches from the belly button. Take your pen, inject the needle under the skin, and take your thumb to push in the dose knob and stop when it gets to zero. You then want to hold the pen in your stomach for six seconds. You can remove the pen, take the outer cap that you set aside, place it back on the needle and screw it off, Place this in a puncture-resistant container. Replace the cap onto your pen, and you can set aside at room temperature for your future dose. If you have any questions, please contact your provider or pharmacist.